Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial by Shayna's Home DIY and Craft. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to use the Dawn Dish Soap method on a tumbler. If you want to see how I do so, keep on watching. If you have hit that subscribe button yet, please go ahead and do so. Also, make sure you hit that notification bell so you can be the first to get my next upload. For this video, I'll be using a 32 ounce tumbler. I went ahead and I taped off the areas that I do not want to get paint on. I'm going to be using the Rust-Oleum spray paint to paint the tumbler. All the items that I'll be using in today's video will be in my description box below, so feel free to get and check that out. So let's get started. So all I'm doing here guys, I'm just going ahead and I'm eyeballing and I'm just trying to create a pattern. And there we go, no drippings, it's look beautiful and I'm just going to leave this to dry overnight. I want it to be fully dry before I go any further. So I'm going to leave this overnight to dry and we'll pick up the next day. Hello, good morning. So now we're on to the next day. So my tumbler is fully dry and we're going to go ahead and we're going to use the Dawn Dish Soap method. So what I'm doing here, I'm just going to squirrel and squirrel around my Dawn Dish Soap and I'm just making a pattern. I'm just like squirreling around. Actually what I'm doing, I don't know, but I'm just scrolling around. We're just making a pattern and watch out. Keep watching. You're going to see what's going to happen, guys. Guys, I gotta tell you guys, I honestly feel like I'm just wasting the dish soap. So here we go. Now we're gonna go in and we're gonna be using a rust -Oleum paint in the color of black. And we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna spray some black paint on this bad boy right here. Yes, guys, this is my favorite part. We already start looking good. We are start to looking good, guys. So once I'm done spraying all the black paint on this, I'm going to go and I'm going to rinse this off. I'll be back. Stay tuned, guys, if you want to see what this tumbler looks like after I rinse it off. Look at that. Look at this beautiful baby. It's all rinsed off. And this is what I came up with, guys. I'm in love with this. It looks so cute. Look at that bubble. Pow. Pop that bubble. Go ahead. Pop it. Pop the bubble. Pop it. Oops, you can't pop the bubble. I'm sorry. But anyways, guys, I love how this tumbler came came out. So after leaving my tumbler to dry for a few hours, now we're going to put our epoxy on. So right there, guys, I'm just mixing my epoxy. This video is not to show you how to mix epoxy. It's just to show you how I create this tumbler. So I have my part A and my part B. I'm mixing that up. And I am going to mix all of that up. Once I'm done mixing it up, I'll go ahead and add it to my tumbler. Just in case you're wondering what I'm doing with that pink stuff, that's my heat gun and I'm just using it to pop any bubble that's inside of my epoxy. So now that I'm all done, I'm going to turn my cup turner on and guys, these, um, I have these little silicone brush. It's my first time I'm going to try it and I'm going to try and use it on this tumbler to apply the epoxy. Guys, I did not like it. It felt weird. I did not like that so I went back and I went to town with my hands because you know what I like using my hands 
and one of the reasons why I like using my hand is you can feel where the epoxy is and where the epoxy is not. So you could get a nice finish. Guys, when you're working with epoxy, you want to make sure you wear your gloves. You want to make sure you wear some goggles. You want to make sure you wear your respiratory mask. Did I say that right? Respirator? Respirator mask. Sorry, I'm mixing up my job with a respirator. But anyways, you want to make sure you wear a mask or a respirator because epoxy is no good for the lungs. It's not good. It might not affect you now. It may affect you later. But anyhow, it's your choice to do what you please. So I'm just going in and my cup turner is turning and I'm applying my epoxy. So guys, once I'm done applying the epoxy on this, once I feel like I have a nice finish coverage, I'm going to go ahead with my heat gun and I'm going to hold it a few inches away from the cup and I'm still rubbing and I'm trying to get uh, any ear bubbles that's in my epoxy to pop. These little micro bubbles to pop right now. So that's what I'm doing and yeah, just rubbing it in. So we're going to leave this to turn on the cup turner for a few hours. So after letting the epoxy dry for about six hours, I came back in and I'm putting on a second um, coat of epoxy. Now guys, if I was gonna put a decal on this cup, I would have put it on after this been dry for the six hours or 12 hours, but I'm not putting a decal on this cup. It's already very fussy or very pretty. So I'm not putting a decal on this. So I'm just putting some more epoxy on this. Once I'm done putting this epoxy, I'm gonna leave it to dry for another 12 hours. And FYI guys, I am very lightly, gently moving my hands. It may look like I'm pressing, but I'm not pressing. I'm just very lightly moving my hands and let it go where as the cup turn. You don't want to press too much on that cup because then it will indent the epoxy, okay? Once again, I'm going to go ahead with my heat gun, pop all the micro bubble, and I'm just moving it back and forth to make sure we don't have any bubble. So that's all I'm doing. Then I'm going to leave it, like I said earlier, to turn for another 12 hours, and then we're all set to go. Once my cup is dry, I clean it up, and I pack it up, and I just ship it right off. And this is what my cup looked like after being dried for 24 hours. It's still on the turner, it's turning, and I absolutely love it. Look how nice that look, guys. It's beautiful. Please go ahead and type me a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this beautiful tumbler. What do you think about the colors, guys? And where do you think these colors came from? Go ahead and type me a comment in the comment section. I reply to all comments, and I'll be waiting to hear from you guys. If you enjoy watching this video, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Click that notification bell. Also, make sure you share this video with your friends and family. This way they won't miss out. Now remember, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Until next time, be blessed.